What's up guys and welcome back to the channel for another EVE Online video. So if you're anything like me, you probably spent a decent amount of time in the Abyssal Lurkers chat and you probably noticed how often people would come into the chat and ask how to kill the Skybreaker spawn in Tier 0 filaments. So if this is you, I've got you. Now of course you can take a pretty expensive frigate or cruiser into those Tier 0 filaments and handle the Skybreaker no problem at all. But as a new player with limited skills, you typically only have access to starter frigates. And it's important to understand that these rooms were added in by CCP with the last update as basically a kill room. So we find these also in tier one filaments as the single marshal, tier two filaments as the double drainer marshal typically, and then tier three and above, it's gonna be a combination of Marshall, Thunder Child, and other D, D, or Concord spawns. And these rooms were intended by CCP to try to rebalance the Abyss and its earning potential, essentially by throwing in this spawn that could very easily kill you and set you back quite a bit in profits. So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking a Tristan, which is a very basic tier one frigate. I'm gonna be putting some basic fittings into it, and we're gonna find out exactly what it takes to kill the Skybreaker. But before we get into all of this, if you enjoy this type of content, and if you'd like to be able to find your way back in the future, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell as well so that you get a notification every time I post a new video. Okay, so for all the spawns in tier zero filaments, except for the Skybreaker, you need at least 25 to 30 EHP in reps and about 100 DPS. So this is the fit that I started with here. Some basic tier one rigs over here. Let me just open it for you guys. This way you can actually take a screenshot if you want. There we go. So we've got in the rigs, um, small EM shield reinforcer, small capacitor control circuit, boat level one, drone damage amplifier, a uh, capacitor power relay, afterburner, shield booster, shield extender, and some rail guns in the heights. So in terms of that 25 to 30 EHP in shield boost rates, I get here in terms of boost 13.5, in terms of partial shield recharge, six HP in total with the resistances, it gives me right around 25 EHP per second. And then in terms of DPS, you can see 122 up here, 94 with the drones alone. So of course I have some pretty high level skills, but for a brand new player, it would take about two weeks to train to get to about 100 DPS on this fit with the drones and with the railguns. It could also take only zero days of training if you use the link in the description to start a brand new alpha account with 1 million free skill points. But all this to say, this is a very basic fit and it's a fit that's fairly accessible for brand new players. And I thought we'd start there and we'd see how well this would perform in the Abyss against the Skybreaker. So in my first fight against that spawn, I decided to not use the railguns at all just because of how short my range was with the antimatter charges. I decided to go with the drones only and this is what happened. So for my second run, I decided to load up with Caldari Navy Iron Shots to get that range and to be able to orbit the Skybreaker at 20 kilometers so that it wouldn't be able to chain the Vorten projector shots to my drone so that my drones would be left alone and I would be able to take shots at him from that range. And the problem I kept running into is that my drones would disengage and would try to go after the Deviant Automata Suppressor Tower instead of staying right on top of the Skybreaker. So I had to keep smashing the F key just to keep my drones on target just the exact same way that you should be smashing the leg button right now. So with the iron ammo, I totaled about 107 DPS, overheated at about 110 DPS, I think, and still that wasn't enough to break the shield. Didn't work out. So after about 10 minutes of back and forth, I did the next best thing, which was just to bump into him until he killed me. And I could give you guys the most amazing cinematic experience as possible of my death in a pistol. Because let's face it, the Vorton Projector weapon animation has got to be the coolest weapon animation in the game. And if you're a Titans pilot, your votes doesn't count. Argue me in the comments. So at this point, I decided that I had had enough. So I went back to the drawing board. I maxed out the Tristan. And then I jumped back into another 25 filaments before I could find the Skybreaker again. And then I tasked my drones on dismantling that ridiculously overpowered frigate. This time, however, he didn't last very long, which is a good thing, but it didn't allow me to get that nice and beautiful cinematic shot of its death. So I do apologize for that. So the conclusion is this. With 130 DPS, you should be able to handle the Skybreaker with absolutely no problem at all. Anything under 110 DPS, you'll likely die. If you like this Tristan fit, I'm going to have it linked below. And I highly recommend using the Caldari Navy Iridium Ammo to get that sweet balance between DPS and range. And finally, after reviewing this and taking another look at my Punisher fit, I realize now that the basic fit 
on a day one alpha player account is not going to be able to break the shields of a skybreaker. However, with the same amount of training that you would have to put into this Tristan fit, if you were to put that into my Punisher fit into the small energy turret skills, you'd be able to get about 120 DPS and that would be more than enough to handle the skybreaker in tier zero filaments. So at the end of the day, I do believe that the Punisher fit is still the superior fit for a brand new player in tier zero filaments. And that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, fly safe, and peace out.